welcome. If you are watching this, thanks for watching my video. This is Bethany from Be The Boss K9 Solutions. I was talking to my mom this morning and she said something. She said she met, she walks her dog every morning in the park and she said she met another person or couple who they had a dog and they were struggling with getting the dog to drop the toy. And I was thinking about this. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I was thinking about this. A lot of people think, me included, I go to the dog trainer and I say, I want my dog to stop running away. I want my dog to stop jumping out of the car window. I want all these different things you think your dog, you want your dog to do, right? A lot of these are symptoms. For instance, the dog that wouldn't, once they're done playing or the, or the dog would grab something and he wouldn't drop it, that's a symptom. It's a symptom that the dog is not listening to you. Your relationship with the dog needs to improve. Not that you have a bad relationship, not that you're a bad parent, dog parent, or your dog is a bad dog. You just need to improve your relationship with your dog. So right now, I got Carbon all excited with his favorite toy. So I'm going to, we're gonna do a test. <laughs> he usually listens to me, but I'm gonna show you the correct way to get the dog to drop it. Well actually, um, yeah, actually I'll go ahead and go ahead and do that right now and then I'll do like a 30 second review. So here we go, let me rile him up a little bit. Hi Bunko, somebody's on the couch. Here's his toy, it's a squeaky. Go get it, go get it. Don't mind my messy house, go get it. Give me it, give it, give it, give me that toy. Carbon, drop it. Uh uh. Yes, good boy. Yay, we got it. I'm gonna let him play with it for a little while longer. So, the reason Carbon dropped the toy is because, oh, mom said it, she means it. <laughs> and that's from how I walk him, how I my follow through. When I tell him to sit, I don't say, oh, oh well, I follow through until he sits. When I ask him to walk nicely, he needs to walk nicely. When I ask him to go into his crate, he needs to go into his crate. So um, I can help teach all those things, but it had me thinking that the reason Carbon was able to drop the toy is not because I taught him that specific one action, which you can, um, not against that, but it's because when I speak, he listens, and he's like, oh, mom means business. So a lot of these uh, relationship building activities translate into every single aspect of your dog's life. Um, for instance, him walking nicely on his walk translate into him, his dropping that toy because he knows to listen to me now. So anyways, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'm Bethany from Be The Boss Canine Solution. Glad you joined me, and we'll catch you on the flip side.